profit is maximized when marginal revenue MR from selling the product is equal to marginal cost MC of producing it. Economic efficiency, on the other hand, is maximized when price P from selling the product is equal to marginal cost MC of producing it. When price P is equal to marginal revenue MR, both profit and efficiency are maximized. Whether price is equal to marginal revenue or not depends on how pricing is done. We will compare two modes of pricing, namely single pricing versus perfect price discrimination. Single price PSP applies to all units sold. Therefore, PSP is an average price. That is, every buyer pays the same price even though some are willing to pay more. Discriminating price, PDP, applies only to the marginal unit sold. Therefore, PDP price is a marginal price. That is, every unit is sold at a different highest possible price. When a single pricing firm faces a downward sloping demand curve, it must search for the maximum profit price. As the price searcher lowers its price, total revenue will first increase when sales increases faster than price decreases, that is, when the elasticity of demand is greater than 1. Total revenue, TR, would reach a maximum when sales increases no faster than price decreases, that is, when elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Then total revenue decreases as sales increases slower than price decreases, that is, when the elasticity of demand is less than 1. If the firm can sell each unit of output according to the buyer's willingness to pay, that is, the reservation price, the total revenue generated will be much larger and reaches its maximum when price charged is equal to zero. This total revenue generated through perfect price discrimination can be called total willingness to pay. TWP. Because single price is an average price, single pricing sellers TR is affected by the elasticity of demand. TR max out when elasticity is equal to 1. Because discriminating price is a marginal price, price discriminating sellers TR, that is TWP, max out only when price is zero. From the single seller's TR curve, we can derive the marginal revenue, MRSP, at any output level from the slope of TR. From the discriminating prices TR curve, TWP, we can derive the marginal revenue, MRDP at any output level from the slope of TWP. MRDP is the same as the marginal revenue to pay, MWP. TR reaches its maximum when MRSP is equal to zero. This happens midpoint down the straight line demand curve. TWP reaches its maximum when MRDP is zero. This happens at the end of the demand curve, MWP. Under single pricing, marginal revenue, MR, is less than price, P, because price must be lowered for all units in order to sell just one more unit. 
under discriminating pricing, MR, that is MWP, is equal to price because each unit is sold at a different price. Regardless of how pricing is done, profit is maximized when marginal revenue, MR, from selling the product is equal to marginal cost, MC, of producing it. Under single pricing, profit is maximized where MRSP is equal to MC. Under discriminating pricing, profit is maximized where MRDP is equal to MC. Although the same rule to maximize profit is followed under single pricing and perfect price discrimination, the resulting output level and profit level are quite different. Namely, QDP is greater than QSP. Pi DP is greater than Pi SP. This difference in profit and output levels between single pricing and perfect price discrimination is a direct result of the different total revenue curves faced by the two types of sellers. Under single pricing, economic profit is measured by TR minus TC at any given output level. For example, at maximum profit output QSP, where MR is equal to MC, economic profit is equal to pi SP, since buyers are not being charged their reservation price for every unit they buy, there is a gap between what they are willing to pay TWP and what they actually pay TR. This gap TWP minus TR is known as consumer surplus. The sum of profit, TR minus TC, and consumer surplus, TWP minus TR, is equal to economic surplus, TWP minus TC. Economic surplus is maximized when P is equal to MC. When economic surplus is maximized, economic efficiency is by definition maximized because the marginal benefit indicated by P from consuming it is equal to the additional cost MC of producing it. But if the single price searcher tries to produce where PSP is equal to MC, total profit would be lower. Under single pricing, higher consumer surplus can be obtained only at the expense of economic profit after the maximum profit output level is reached. Under discriminating pricing, economic profit is measured by TWP minus TC at any given output level. For example, at maximum profit output QDP where MR is equal to MC, economic profit is equal to pi DP. But TWP minus TC also measures the economic surplus. Since PDP is equal to MC at QDP, economic surplus ESDP is also maximized. When ESDP is equal to pi dp, consumer surplus is equal to zero. Therefore, under discriminating pricing, higher economic profit and higher output level is achieved at the expense of consumer surplus compared with single pricing. If the only condition for simultaneously maximizing profit and economic surplus is P equal to MR, when MR is equal to MC, price takers who must accept the market price as given also satisfies the condition of P equal to MR at the firm level, but unlimited entry 
will lead to zero profit. So the economic surplus generated by P equal to M C goes entirely to consumers. Perfect price discrimination not only produces higher profit and higher efficiency; it may also be able to stay in business after it is no longer profitable for the single pricer. When the fixed cost is high, for example, T C could be entirely above T R. The single pricing firm suffers economic loss even when M R S P. Is equal to M C, but as long as T C is below T W P, the price discriminating firm still enjoys economic profit when M R D P is equal to M C. Since a money losing firm would go out of business, it cannot generate consumer surplus, even though. T W P minus T C is still positive at the money losing output level. Although a price discriminating firm captures the entire consumer surplus, its products still offer utility to consumers at different affordable prices.